Yes, indeed. Zimbabwe has been under sanctions for two decades. Why? Because 10 years after independence, we decided to correct the land imbalance in our country, where 70% of our land was in the hands of about 7,000 British settlers. If there's some British people here, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> then 30% uh, in the hands of uh, Zimbabweans. So that structure of land ownership could not <coughs> continue. So we corrected it. However, after 10 years, my boss, former President Mugabe, appointed me Minister of Justice with the responsibility to acquire land. I did a bit of research. I didn't find any textbook or any history of how land is properly taken from those who have taken it without <laughs> order. So we decided just to take it. In the process, many people were grieved. Obviously, the grievance was genuine. If, for instance, we had uh, 20,000 hectares, and then I put legislation, the Land Acquisition Act, where we divide the country into five regions. Let's say a region um, requires that the maximum land ownership is 1,000 hectares. And you have 20,000 hectares. Then you say surrender the other 19,000 and they keep only 1,000. No one will be happy. <laughs> 